Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Dania. If you're interested in following along our journey to baby, consider subscribing. But otherwise, last week we completed all our pre treatment tests for our first uh, cycle of IUI coming up. So we had our blood work done. We are still waiting for our genetic testing to come back, which we should hopefully hear at some point this week. But otherwise, my vitamin D came back a little bit low, so that led my doctor to send me some supplements and things to help me out prior to, prior to treatment. So, so first things first, um, vitamin D. Doctor recommended 5,000 or 4,000 to 5,000 IU. I don't know what that stands for, but I got the 5,000, so we got that. The next thing was CoQ10. He recommended 600 milligrams daily, and so I take three of these in the morning. NMN, don't know what that stands for either, but they sent me a link to Amazon. I got these on Amazon. He said one capsule a day, regardless of the brand. This bottle recommends two, but doctor's orders, one capsule a day, so that's what I've been doing. Now, I was taking prenatals that I had gotten off of Amazon, but they sent me a list of recommended prenatals, so I decided to, to take those. And so here they are. It's the Theranatal 1 prenatals. Um, there are 90, I believe, in, yeah, 90 soft gels in one bottle, which is great because you only take one a day. So this is a three month supply, which I'm actually really happy that I switched over to these because the other ones I was taking was one in the morning and one at night, whereas this is only one a day. So it's one less pill that I have to take throughout the day. So one of these. And in addition to my prenatals, doctor recommended um, folic acid as well. So I'm taking this too. So that's that. So I got started on all of these last week. Friday last week, I also did my baseline ultrasound. This is done to monitor follicle growth and stuff. So they checked out my follicles and they said everything looked great. I had a donor amount of follicles, which is good. And here's a quick clip of my ultrasound. We were able to film that. So let's have a look. So they're good size, that's exactly the size we want, and you probably have around 15 follicles on the left side. Is that a healthy amount? Yeah, that's a great amount. That's egg number amount. Okay, this is the right side. I'll measure a couple follicles here. Six. Six, so in this kind of cycle, we only want two to three follicles to grow, right? Okay. You have about 10 on that side. Everything looks uh, fantastic. And on that visit, the doctor also gave me five days of letrozole. Um, it's five milligrams a day for five days. Um, and this is to promote follicle growth. So I'm going in again this Friday to, again, uh, do some follicle monitoring and seeing where we stand and where we're at. And we're excited. Um, yeah, so after that, hopefully, depending on where my follicles are at, they will give me a trigger shot and um, we'll try to time that and plan that based off of the ultrasound and we are going to go from there. But if all goes well, trigger shot on Sunday and insemination day one on Monday, insemination day two on Tuesday. They do two days back to back just to increase the chances. So I am the literal worst when it comes to taking vitamins and stuff. I always forget. And this is really important to me to take these and be consistent because it's not just about me anymore. It's about potential babies. So I went ahead and found this cute little pink vitamin organizer. It has every day of the week. And then there's also um, AM and PM. It says Wednesday, AM, PM. So put those in here. Nice and organized, nothing is forgotten. I literally leave this 
on my counter so I can't miss it in the morning. So, so speaking of which, I haven't taken my vitamins yet today, so I'm gonna get to that. Today's Tuesday, see? See, it's coming in handy, I'm telling you. So um, actually, today is my last dose of Letrozole. I'm on day five. Really no side effects for me personally with the Letrozole. Um, the first day I did feel a little, a little off, um, but I was on my cycle, so it could have just been symptoms of that. Um, but otherwise, really no symptoms with the Letrozole. They just recommend to take it at the same time every day for the five days. And when I had picked up my prescription and came home, it was about 5.30 p.m. So I've been doing 5.30 p.m. every day. So I'll be taking my last dose tonight. And yeah, hopefully it's doing what it is meant to do. And we are sitting pretty uh, at the end of this week. So I'm excited to let you guys know how this progresses and where we stand uh, moving forward. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Also, a big thing for me is this is a safe space for anyone going through or anyone that has experienced infertility or IUI or IVF or anything in that realm. Um, this is a safe space, feel free to share. Thank you guys for watching. I am probably just gonna have some breakfast, take my vitamins and be on my way. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.